In order to win a Force FX lightsaber of your choosing, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and post in the comment section down below which lightsaber you hope to win. Good luck to all those who enter, and now, let's begin with the video. After the former Jedi Master Dooku was revealed as the instigator of the Clone Wars and was ousted as a Sith Lord, the galaxy was changed forever as the Clone Wars began. During the dawn of the Clone Wars, the name Anakin Skywalker was only one heard within the walls of the Jedi Temple, as many Jedi Knights knew him as the chosen one that would destroy the Sith. To the Jedi within the temple, many of them believed that this was Dooku. Beyond the walls of the Jedi Temple, however, Anakin Skywalker was not a well-known figure. It was only after the Clone Wars began, and Anakin led his troopers to several notable victories, was his name made more recognizable. At the beginning of the war, Anakin was still a Jedi Padawan under the apprenticeship of Obi-Wan Kenobi. After several months at war, however, the Council came together to discuss the knighting of Skywalker. What this would mean is Anakin would become a true Jedi. The knighting being a ceremony where the Padawan braid is severed, and a Jedi Padawan officially becomes a Jedi Knight and member of the Jedi Order. Once the ceremony is completed, the Padawan is no longer connected to a master and is now a full-fledged Jedi Knight of their own and can take on an apprentice. The knighting was usually carried out after a Padawan had endured several trials under their time as an apprentice and had proven that they were wise, could handle themselves in combat, and more than this, could stay clear of the dark side of the Force and were able to repel it. Once a Jedi Padawan displayed they could perform these tasks, they were deemed ready by the Jedi Council, and a Padawan would become a Knight. You will forever look back on this day as one of great joy, but also one of great sorrow. It will help you to remember that, in life, the two are often closely linked. In the case of Anakin Skywalker, his knighting was a very political move, as the Jedi of the Order began to falter during the Clone Wars and were questioning the Jedi way, as well as the masters of the Jedi Council. Because of Anakin's inherent skill and success in battle during the Clone Wars, many Jedi looked up to him and his power, as well as his status as the Chosen One who would destroy the Sith. Due to this, Anakin was fast-tracked as a Jedi Knight, as the members of the Jedi Council believed it would greatly increase the morale of the other members of the Order and propel them to fight harder during the Clone Wars, as at the time, the opinion on the war between Jedi was mixed, as several believed they should not involve themselves to the level where they became generals during the war. Some Jedi, in fact, believed that they should have stayed out of the Clone Wars entirely. Although much of the Jedi Council was for the knighting of Anakin, one Council member spoke out against him and his control over himself, believing that he was not yet fit to become a Jedi Knight. This Jedi Master was Mace Windu, who believed that Anakin was arrogant and reckless, and more than this, did not truly know what it meant to be a Jedi. Because of this, when it came time to knight Anakin, Mace Windu removed himself from the ceremony and refused to be involved, as he believed the young boy was not yet ready not only to become a true Jedi, but also to become the face of the Jedi and savior of the galaxy. Mace was of the opinion that the Council was allowing outside influence to creep in, and that the decision was made for propaganda purposes, and not because Skywalker was truly ready to be a Jedi. Other members of the Council, however, pointed to the fact that the Jedi needed an example during this pressing time. They also explained and vouched for Anakin, and said that he was ready, and had fulfilled all of the necessary trials, including fighting the leader of the Separatists, Count Dooku. By this alone, many Jedi believed that Anakin was ready. But that is how Mace Windu was against making Anakin a Jedi Knight, and why he believed Anakin was not yet ready for the responsibility of becoming the face of the Jedi Order. This is also how Mace Windu outright refused to participate in the knighting ceremony of Anakin Skywalker a decision that would cause much contention between the two of them, and one that would break up their relationship for years to come. But leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and which side do you fall on? The side that believes that Mace Windu was too rough on Anakin, or the side that believes that Mace was in fact correct about Skywalker the entire time? Was Mace Windu's skepticism of Anakin Skywalker warranted, or was him being too hard on him what ultimately pushed him to becoming Darth Vader? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway, and if you have a future video suggestion, also feel free to leave that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.